earlier that day. A minute's silence will be held at today's game with Hereford to mark the life of one of the game's pioneers. Keith Alexander was a journeyman footballer who became an outstanding role model for aspiring black managers. A tough centre forward, most notably at Grimsby Town, he came late to the professional game after a long career in non-league football. Alexander specialised in defying the odds. He took over at Lincoln City in 1993, at a time when no other black managers were in the game. There's absolutely no doubt that he, that he was a role model, certainly for, for young black footballers and, and young black coaches. Um, but I think even more so, I think, is what he gave the game of football. When I first w went into management, Keith was the one who actually broke down the barriers. He was one I aspired to, he was one I always looked up to. He's one of well, you know, I picked the phone up to and picked his brains about certain things, and he was a great help to me. His second spell at Sinsel Bank made the biggest impact. On a shoestring budget, he took the Imps to an unprecedented four successive playoffs, but the elusive promotion never came. Seven years ago, he suffered a brain aneurysm, but again he defied the odds and returned to the dugout. After spells at Peterborough and Bury, he took over at Macclesfield in 2008 and each year managed to overcome financial constraints to keep them in the league. A football man to the end, he was on the sidelines as Macclesfield played Notts County just hours before he died. He was highly respected throughout the football world and the whole of the English game will mourn his passing. The family were particularly touched that the England team wore black armbands uh, at the midweek games because um, whilst Keith wasn't um, a household name at the top of the game, I think it, it's acknowledged throughout the game that his contribution was such that it needed such a, such a mark to be made. Keith Alexander was a highly talented manager, a warm, approachable character and a role model to many in the black community. His death at the age of 53 touched many. Football has lost a true gentleman. Well, we can go live to Edgar Street now and speak to the Macclesfield chairman, Mike Rance. Mike, thank you very much for, for joining us today. Um, a big shock to everybody in football what happened this week to Keith, but especially to you because you spoke to him on Tuesday night, we understand. Yes, it was devastating. Uh, I was with him on Tuesday night after the Notts County game and uh, he was in good form in the boardroom as he always is and uh, everybody in football knows Keith and he was interacting in the way he always does. And I was driving home and I spoke to him over the phone at about half past 11 and it was uh, about an issue of uh, discipline associated with an altercation he's had with a referee at Bournemouth and we hadn't filled out the forms and I asked him to try and find a fax machine the following day to, to fax me some material. Uh, that was the last conversation I had with him and, and it was about football and that was appropriate. We spoke about him being a role model, and, and he continues to do that. And, and we, we heard in the, in the piece there, so many people have been inspired by his example over the years. Yes, I think that's true. But and we've been overwhelmed by the by the sympathy and and, and the support that we've had in the past few days. It's been simply amazing, uh, and it was a real mark of respect for for Keith and the impact he had on the game. And the thing to me that was surprising to me was you know, the fact that he was a black manager has been essentially irrelevant. I mean, people have been uh, calling us to mourn the passing of the man, and he was a very special person. Mike, thanks for joining us today. I'm sure it's going to be an emotional match there at Edgar Street today. Yes. OK, well, let's uh, turn our attention now to the FA Cup.